As you have known in my other videos, transformers have both external and internal faults. Internal faults made up about three quarters of the faults you should see in a transformer. And within internal faults, winding faults are some of the most difficult faults to identify. Here, let us look at what are winding faults. Transformer windings will degrade over time uh, from several factors, such as high current or voltage, or just aging in general. This will cause breakdown of the insulation's dielectric strength. The insulation will eventually cause the windings to be shorted to ground. With the windings being shorted, the impedance will be very low and thus high current will throw through these turns. If the shorted windings are less than 10% of the total windings, however, there will be little change in the terminal current. So in a sense, it will be very difficult for protection schemes to pick up. So in this case, what should we do? Well, the most common methods, and I, I, I have actually uh, went through several methods in another video on how to how to uh, detect these type. But in a sense, in this video, I'm going to talk about the most um, uh, most kind of popular type that's being used, which is the dissolved gas methods for detecting winding faults. Now, as to how are we using dissolved gas analysis in detecting winding faults? Well, dissolved gas analysis through detecting different combination composition of gases can detect the different characteristics that are happening within the transformer. So, particularly in winding faults, this the pattern is generally started from the generation of thermal gases within the paper insulation and later eventually lead to sudden breakdown of the insulation itself. Thus, the DJ analysis pattern would be in the form of fr starting from thermal gases to detecting signs of partial discharge. If you want to learn um, more about electrical transformers, particularly in uh, testing and doing diagnostics, I recommend you to check out my Udemy course, Electrical Transformers Testing and Diagnostics course. Now, this is an intermediate video course where you will learn all about electrical transformer troubleshooting that are essential in working within this industry, from general failure investigation methods to specific transformer tests, such as the dissolved gas analysis. So if you're interested in um, uh, electronic uh, electrical transformer testing, troubleshooting, etc., please check out my course uh, by clicking on the link in the video description.